YouTube, Rook here from Rook Geek Goodness, my little channel web for all things geeky and cool, and welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome back to our Funko Review and Unboxing video, and I'm finally getting to it. That's right, we're talking about the Bullet Train Pop. So full wave of Bullet Train, minus, of course, the Chase Pop, but got all three pops in this physical wave. There were only really three pops talked about. There is a Chase version of Ladybug right here, which, of course, is Brad Pitt's character, and we have, of course, the Wolf, that is basically Bad Bunny the Rapper. If you've never seen Bullet Train, which came out in 2022, I highly, highly recommend it. It is an awesome, funny action comedy. Holds your attention through the entire movie. Awesome flick. If you've never seen it, you highly, highly, highly have to watch that movie. And of course, I want to thank all my viewers and subscribers, especially all the new subscribers we have for the channel. If you've never watched any of my videos before, I hope you do like this sort of content. Remember to smash the like button and subscribe for people who don't subscribe to the channel. And I do a full breakdown segment. Basically, the breakdown is what you see kind of here. I take a deep dive into these pops. I'll talk about the packaging, the presentation. Then I'll take the stuff out of the packaging and showcase the pops themselves. So let's get into the breakdown segment like we always do. And the odd thing before I really start here is that no one's done a full review of all three pops at once on YouTube. They'll pop, no, they'll talk about maybe the Ladybug and maybe Wolf, or they each pop separately, but no one's done a full review of all three pops here simultaneously. So I do hope you like this content. Remember to smash the like button. I want to get this up on search for YouTube for people looking for this content can find it. So let's start off in our breakdown segment. Of course, we always start out with the packaging and presentation. Let's start right here in the middle with Brad Pitt's character, Ladybug. We'll take these two off this side. We'll come back to those guys in a second. So, of course, this is your standard design for a Funko Pop. We've seen this before in the past. You have, of course, where it says Pop Movies, Bullet Train, Pop number 1292. Great window box display, of course, of Ladybug, a.k.a. Brad Pitt's character. Looks awesome. It does say Ladybug right down here. We have a shot where it looks like for the character out of the packaging. It does say Ladybug right here. And the back of the packaging is sort of like a poster, what it would look like if you saw it, let's say, on a marque of what the Pops would look like, which is kind of like this look and feel. And very much similar to my thumbnail. They kind of put this piece right off the thumbnail here, which is the image of the bullet train itself. And all the characters are available in that particular wave. Of course, this is Ladybug, Brad Pitt's character, pop number 1292. Now let's focus on Bad Bunny, a.k.a. The Wolf. Oh! He had a great role in the movie. Didn't last super amount of lengths of time. I don't want to spoil what happens to his character. Uh, again, if you have never seen the movie, I highly recommend it. Again, this is Pop Movies right here. We have Bullet Train, Pop number 1293. Great shot of Wolf in his packaging. It does say The Wolf down here. Over here, it looks like we can take the character out of packaging. Over here, it does say The Wolf. And again, the back of the packaging, very similar to what we saw for Ladybugs. Very similar sort of poster feel to it. Great design. Love the way it looks. Now let's focus on, of course, Momomon. He's sort of the mascot of the movie. G again, this takes place like in Japan. Um, has a sort of Asian feel, Asian flair to it. And again, he's a really cool looking mascot. Doesn't have a whole lot in the movie per se, but he shows up here and there. Funny scenes with Momomon, really cool representation for this character here. We do have, again, pop movies, bullet train right there, pop number 1294. Over here, what it looks like we take the character out of the packaging. It does say Momomon. Uh, hopefully, I'm pronouncing it correctly. I think it's Momomon. Yeah, it's Momomon. I'm saying it correctly. Let me know if I'm saying it wrong in the comment section. I think I'm saying it right. Back in the back of the packaging showcases what the character looks like. Again, all the characters in that physical wave. Then let's bring them all back into the shot again, and then we'll take them out of the packaging. Then, again, I want to showcase them all kind of together. All right, guys, we have our Funko pops out of packaging. Next, we do take a pop out of package. We always look at the paint design and articulation. Let's first focus right dead center on Brad Pitt's character, Ladybug, right now. Take these one out of the shot and first focus on Ladybug himself, of course, Brad Pitt's character. A yeah, really cool looking design for Brad Pitt's character. He looks really, really good. This is kind of how you would see him at the beginning of the movie. Um, he looks really, really good. If you notice, he's holding, he's clutching something in his hands right there. That's sort of the gimmick for the entire film, the sort of briefcase they're chasing. That's the MacGuffin, if you will, the object that the plot's really based on. Around. I don't want to go too in depth about what this is all about. You have to watch the movie for yourself. But he looks really, really good. A great representation of what Ladybug looks like. He looks really, really good here. Um, he again has the kind of green tracksuit. He's holding the briefcase in his hands right there. He's kind of clutching it. He has his glasses on. Looks really, really good. He has, of course, the blondish colored hair that kind of falls to the back of the pop. There is articulation on the pop. He will spin, but he does get caught up by his hands because he's gripping it. We try to spin it this way. His hair kind of gets clipped by this arm. When you spin it the other way, you get some clearance and you can kind of spin it all the way around but you get again, caught right there so just be aware that you don't want to go too far you don't want to rub the vinyl just be aware of that he does like that's the only really point of articulation he looks really really good of course he's your typical design for a Funko Pop he looks really really good he doesn't have not have a need for a figure stand again the design of him looks really really good really kind of based off of the movie if you looked at the movie looked at the pop you go okay that's Brad Pitt's character Ladybug it makes a ton of sense now let's focus of course next character is the wolf Oh! 
Ooh, Bad Bunny's character of the wolf. He's sort of this white, um, this white suit, this kind of uh, three-piece suit he would wear. He's kind of very dressed and dapper, and he looks really, really good. If you notice in his hand, he has what looks to be a knife, and he has a foam plunged through the center. Again, it's a plot point of the movie. I don't really want to spoil what happens, but a really cool action scene with both uh, Ladybug here and the wolf interacting in the shot. You've probably seen the trailer for it. Really, really cool interaction between the two characters. A lot of chemistry on screen for both of them. And as far as Wolf, uh, great looking look for Bad Bunny. He kind of screams Bad Bunny when you look at him here again. He's in, in a three-piece suit, all white, black. Uh, the head, or his articulation, his head will spin. No hindrance. So I'm really happy about that. So no problem there. He is not a bobblehead. Neither is Ladybug. I do like that. Not a bobblehead. Very much into that. Again, he looks straight out of the, the movie itself for Bullet Train. Great representation for the character of the Wolf. Oh! And of course, we have Mama Mon. If you notice, Mama Mon is holding the same sort of MacGuffin, the same briefcase right here that, of course, that uh, Ladybug had. So he's holding it in his arms right there. You can see him gripping it. Uh, there is articulation with him. He spins 360 again with no hindrance. Again, he's sort of the mascot, the Japanese mascot throughout the entire film. Uh, he, did, he kind of pops in and out of the movie, and there's some really cool... Uh, play between him and Ladybug throughout the film, so it's really, really cool. But Momon, very, very uh, cool looking little mascot character, very cute looking, very chibi looking in design, and took the sort of chibi look and kind of implemented it for, for a uh, vinyl figure for Funko. Great design, great deco. Of course, he's all white and pink through the entire character. You can see that right there, but it looks great. I love the attention to detail and the design and deco. So let's bring all three of the pops back into the shot again, and we'll put them on the turntables and spin them around and have my final thoughts about this. Should you spend the money and purchase these pops? And then what always says to me at the end of my videos, should I buy whatever I'm talking about? Um, if you're a fan of the Bullet Train movie, I highly, highly recommend it. I thought it was a phenomenal movie. I've seen it several times. I laugh about it every single time I see it. I always find key little points of interest that I kind of missed in my first viewing of it. Again, I highly recommend watching it. It's a really good flick. Brad Pitt does a great job. The, of course, Bad Bunny does an even better job. There are kind of a cameos through the entire movie. I do highly recommend buying at least Brad Pitt's character and maybe the Wolf Momon. You could probably skip on, but if you want to get the full wave, get the full wave. Again, there is a chase version of Ladybug, Brad Pitt's character. Unfortunately, I do not have it. I'm not sure if I'm going to get the chase or not. Let me know in the comments section, should I pick up the chase version of Ladybug and maybe do a separate video review of just the chase compared to this one right here. And that's my video review for the Bullet Train Pops, all three of them. Remember to smash the like button on the page, click that all important subscribe button, picture my face. When you subscribe to the channel, click the bell, comment, and I'll the latest videos. Of course, last but not least, you click windows here and here to watch more of my content. Take care, guys. See you next video, and bye-bye.